to Portland on an inaugural run. This is the first time at this hour of the day that an Amtrak train was making a trip from Seattle to Portland. It was packed with 70 to 78 people, five crew members, uh, all of the passengers very aware that this was the inaugural run. They were passing out badges to the media, making a big happy day out of this inaugural run. So a lot of passengers, as we noted in our morning broadcast, were excited. We talked to them live on this very train 10 minutes or so before it crashed. A lot of publicity in recent days, a lot of news reports also about the fact that this was going to be happening, that this new run, run at this time was going to be happening, that people should be aware of the faster trains coming through at this time. So uh, to be on the lookout for that. And people mentioned they weren't used to seeing a train come through at this time parallel to the tracks and that they thought the train was going pretty fast and that they noticed it because they do this commute every day at this time and had not seen it, that today was an unusual day because they'd seen it. Uh, and then this happened so early this morning. A couple of things to point out here as we're zoomed the in sign. on the long lens. That's essentially a speed limit sign for trains. T indicating the, uh, as Robert just put it, the for Calgo train. So T30 indicates that the train you were just looking at was not supposed to be traveling more than 30 miles per hour on this particular curve. At last check, according to Amtrak's website, we did note that the last traveling speed was 81 miles per hour, which as the engineer just indicated, is pretty normal for that stretch. Yeah. So that normal for that stretch, prior to getting that, curve. that curve. curve. So the, the top number would be for cargo, the bottom number for passenger trains. That would be the recommended speed going around that curve. So the last known speed on, on the website, the, the straight stretch prior to that curve, uh, the last known speed was 81 miles an hour. We don't know the speed of that train going around the curve, but a lot of people said that train was going pretty fast leading up to that curve. We're continuing to indicate uh, people, are, people on Twitter are, are talking about this, commenting from the president on down. I think we have Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. She just put this on Twitter. The catastrophic derailment. Mommy. Horrific. Mm -hmm. My 